And finally, to finish off our discussion here of the text menu, let's take a look at the very bottom of the text menu. We have our font options right down here. Brings up the font options against the options dialog box. And we're looking at the font section right now. There it is, text and fonts. And in here you can control a few of your options. You can choose to show true type fonts or not, show true type symbols or not, and type one fonts and symbols. So you can narrow down your list if you want to be very specific on the kinds of fonts. Now the reason you would do this, of course, is if you are working with a printer and the printer had a certain collection of fonts, you'd want to make sure that you were using the same collection as a printer. You know, they may only have type one fonts, for instance, or they may only use true type fonts. In that case, you'd want to hide the other fonts so you wouldn't be using fonts that your printer didn't have. You can choose to just show document fonts only in your list. You can show flyout with font symbol beside your font list. It's up to you finding a little flyout on that. Show flyout with available font styles beside the font list. We've seen that as we've worked through. Use your font to display the font name. We've seen that. Again, that's is all talking about when you're looking at the drop down list in here. You'll see that. And let me just show that real fast when we're talking about there. There it is. And that's using this font style when it's showing the name of the font. So you can see that. Same thing on the flyouts in here. If there are additional styles, you can see the font in those styles. Okay, let's go back then to that drop down list. Little font list options, little drop down list right here. If you are bringing in documents that may use fonts that you don't have, you can choose if you want to use the font navigator catalog and then adjust your font, your pantos or panos rather font matching. What this does is it allows you to set up fonts to match fonts that you're missing with fonts that you have. You click on that, it brings up its own little dialog box here and you can choose to match results for text, styles, or never show. And it's pretty good at doing a good match on your fonts to a similar font on your computer. Insert character list contents and again we can show true type fonts, show type one fonts, and show true type symbols and type one symbols. So there's a few of the options in here for that. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.